rice. I have my sausage in here draining. You know I got to go on with some of this. What's collard greens without Texas tea? Huh? All right, I just went in with my butter. You use whatever butter you choose. Whether that's non-dairy. Whatever folks show up. <laughs> All right, I'm stirring up my grits and kamuts. All right, so I'm over here on my crown. I got my cheese cut up. And I got my casserole dish because this is the size I'm going to be using. All right, so this is just sugar on my fork, y'all. No big deal, right? All right, so the greens are tasting delicious all on their own, trust that. And my gr creamy butter grits are ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the collard greens to the grits. This is baked greens and grits. Baked grits and greens. <laughs> finish doing this and I'll be back and add my sausage all right so so far this is what it's looking like so that was just one can of collard greens I haven't even used them all oh look at that good pot liquor y'all baby I think I got collard greens and sweet potatoes in my blood I always joke with my family about because I love collard greens and sweet potatoes anyway so um, I think this is maybe enough so far I may put the rest all right so let me start adding in my sausage and grab that switch that out so here's my sausage that's been draining so I'm just going to go ahead and add my sausage I could cut this up more but the bigger the better, right? <laughs> That's what I've been told. The bigger the better. And the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Alright, so we're going to stir that in. Ooh. Baby, you can eat this at this point. Right there. Got some more sausage love. Add it all. I might save a couple of pieces just to put on the top. It'd be cute. Cute with it, right? That would be cute with it whenever you can. I mean, guys, you can't always be cute, but so whenever you can, be cute with it. All right, let me stop stirring this. I don't know why. I do not have to stir that much. I'll be back. So now I have my cheese. I retrieved my cheese. So now I'm about to add that. And I'll be back. Because I can't. Lord, I have a ring light and everything, y'all. I could use to set this up. I'll do it one of these days. Hopefully soon, right? All right, so I set the. Anyway. Going in with the cheese. Throw it in there. Let it bake up. Oh, I better save some for the top. Yeah, save some for the top. Well, I'll cut up some more. All right, I'll be back. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take this over to my casserole dish and get it poured in. So I went ahead and sprayed my dish. And now I'm just going to pour this in the dish. And I'll be back. Wow, look at that beautiful cheese. 
already starting to melt. All right, I'll be. All right, this so this is how this is looking. So got it all in there, so I'm just gonna neaten it up. Easy peasy, one, two, three. So we about to slide her into the oven and let her do her thing. Do your thing, girl. All right, so my casserole is in the oven, but two, two guesses on what I'm about to do, y'all, and that is scrape and eat the leftovers in the pot. What? All right, so I've recorded a video before showing how I make my beloved coconut bacon but I'm going to go ahead and do another one quick fast while the while the bake grits and greens is in the oven alright so first I start out with some coconut aminos I think I got this from this was in a Thrive box we have a Thrive subscription um, so anyway so, put in your coconut aminos according to the amount of bacon that you're going to make. Actually, this is a little too much, but I mean, it's not too much. I usually don't use this much because I'm not making that much uh, bacon. So anyway, go in with your couple of drops of your liquid smoke. Two tastes. All of this is two tastes. And then uh, you can use maple. I've done maple, 100% maple many times. I prefer maple, but I also like agave as well. So I'm going to put in some agave. Just need a little bit. And I make this bacon recipe all the time. I, we love it, especially with pancakes. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I grab the spoon and I'm just stirring up my marinade. And most times I add in a little bit of bottled water, but you totally don't have to just to thin it out or whatever. But I want a, a strong smoky bacon flavor, so I'll leave it as it is. All right, so this is the unsweetened coconut chips that I use. Um, just make sure they're the large flakes, not the small flakes, um, as you can see. Um, I mostly use the, another brand I can't think of when I was in Savannah, but they don't have that here, so I just get the Target brand, which I'm grateful that at least they have that because baby i search high and low for these babies so i'll be back i'm about to line my pan with these to let them marinate which they don't have all right so this is quickly how the coconut looks in the marinade about to put it in the air fryer all right so you just spread your coconut bacon in your air fryer like this and get it cooking crisp it up So we got some bubble, bubble, bowl in trouble action going on in here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take her out. She looks good. All right, 
so she's still bubbling. I just pulled her out. She is gorgeous. Like I knew she would be. So I got my coconut bacon going over here in the fryer. So I'm going to check on it. Alright, it's almost done. Alright, so you want to check on your bacon and give it a toss if you need to. So I'm going to just do that. It's really done, but I'm going to crisp it up a little more. Alright, so I'm just going in with the tongs. So I won't burn myself. I'll be back. Oh, I forgot to mention that, oh, I, well, I forgot to mention that I last minute decided to put some mozzarella on her as well. So she has mozzarella and cheddar. All right, so I'm just cutting up some of the green onion that I told you guys that I grow on my counter. I'm going to show the how this deep. Deep dish over here. Ooh. All right, so now I'm going to make some French toast with it. Thanks for coming along with me. You all have a blessed day and shalom. Herbaceous Bell. All right, so I got my French toast here, and I'm going to go ahead and scoop out some of my So in here we have our grits, sausage, oh. alright so I have my french toast plated up and I'm going to go ahead and scoop out some of my